So guys, the topic is feminism. What is it and what is the misconception behind it? Hey. Whew. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um anyways, hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Um so today it's basically chat sessions and as you can tell the first topic is about fem feminism. We have Tsungai, Michelle, okay. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Because I'm back. <laughs> oh, yeah, welcome oh. back. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so today we have our beautiful ladies, and that's the first topic. So, ladies, feminism. <clears throat> well, I don't think it's, it's, it's a bad, it? it's a bad thing. What I is it? What, what is, is it? Mm. Like believing in women empowerment? Yes, yes. like all for women, like equality for women gender equality yeah basically that. do you think so, all men men both men and women should be feminists yeah hmm. to some extent why because i feel like you know we've all grown up with this conception that men are more superior you know from like back then so i feel you know men should embrace it yeah but at the same time i think it's extra there are thin lines between being a feminist and just being outright <laughs> gender focused on women. Also the whole men are trash exactly. thing going exactly. on. But it's true. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, men are trash. Men, wow. Why are men are trash? My wow. life is not trash. Not um, all. Not all men, not but all. there's some trash somewhere. Not, yes. trash. not all. There's some trash Obviously, somewhere. Some but trash. but it goes both ways. Who are women. you? <laughs> Even women themselves <laughs> are trash. I apologize to tell you. <laughs> you are. We appeal to you. But <laughs> what is um, being a feminist? What is it exactly? Uh, okay, mm -hmm. so for me, what I feel it is, is basically knowing that as a woman, you can do it all mm -hmm. without having to feel like you need to compensate for anything. Because mm -hmm. what I hate about the feminist movement or why I fail to then say I'm a feminist is because it feels like women then want to make themselves victims. I'm not a victim. I've grown up being told you can do anything you want to do. So if I wake up and I say I want to be a pilot, I'm not going to see, all of a sudden, I'm not going to see barriers in front of me. Of which to me, feminism, what's, what it's being portrayed to be, it's, it's as if there are barriers. Let's all now work towards <laughs> making sure that those barriers are not there. I've never seen barriers. I do not see barriers. But because you were blessed enough to not see barriers. There are people yes. that are growing up. I in, guess so, exactly. yeah. But so at I the same so. time, I feel like, you can't exactly say you're a feminist if you don't know what you're talking about. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You can say you're a feminist, but you've never, like us, we never grew up in a house where you're told men are superior, superior yeah. um, boys yeah. need to do this and whatnot. But then you're still told when you go out, I have parents who tell me, remember, you're a girl when you're going out there. Why should I remember I'm a girl just because I'm going into the world? But remember, still feminism. No. Though? I, feel that's, like I think that's where the misconception yeah. is. Comes in. Exactly. That you have to act a certain way because yeah. you're a lady outside. But when it comes to career, go for it. When it comes to school, go, go for it. it. Mm -hmm. But when it goes to social life, you have to remember, no, <laughs> you're a woman. You need to do certain things. But I, I, I understand where that comes I from, guys. Know. The things we face and the things <laughs> guys face when we go out, they are totally different, guys. Because mm -hmm. we're trying to you were trying to wear what we want. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, when you go out, you still get my... But so, why, is, uh -huh. why so, is it like that? If we do that to men, to get some my... When they are walking, when they are hey, walking. will they be comfortable? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why is it like that? It's why okay. Why should I? Why should I dress a certain way to feel comfortable? Exactly. So why should I not wear my butt shorts okay, coming right out of my? No, I get that. I guess I'm not saying that I agree with those <laughs> things going on. Please do not attack me. I'm saying this is what we're facing, uh -huh. and how best can we move from it? This is what I'm saying. I'm saying we're facing this. How mm -hmm. best can we move away from it? Because we are the next generations of mothers. I know she wants to be a mother. Uh huh. Yeah. Want to be a mother? Mm -hmm. Want to be a mother? Yes. Yeah. So how then best do we move on from it? Do we raise children, our, to... our children as feminists? Mm -mm. Or should we try to re redefine it and name it something else? I think that's where, like right now we're discussing misconceptions. Mm -hmm. Like what do, we, what do we need to do to make sure that there are no misconceptions around what feminism, sh feminism should be? What would you define feminism as? Your ideal, if you were to live in your own world. 
what would be your type of feminism? I feel like this whole we are equal, we are not equal. Yes. <laughs> I, I, yes. I, I personally don't want to take the position of a man. Thank you. Because uh-huh. I don't have the energy. I, 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 no other time. Thank One. You. Two. I don't believe we should have feminists. In this. Just know your place. Define mm-hmm. what it is for yourself. For yourself. Don't mm-hmm. look at Michelle and think, okay, fine, because Michelle is this way, I should be that way. Mm-hmm. Just because Michelle can be a home, a homely person doesn't mean I can be that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just because Michelle can be a career-driven person, I should be I that should person. Be that. Mm-hmm. Just because my man is the one who wants to stay at home doesn't mean he's not a man. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can be a feminist and say, gender equality. Hey, we are going to match so that oh, we are we are equal. But then when it comes to emotion, they're like, it doesn't understand it's, me. Yeah. What is the 50-50, my guy? Yeah. <laughs> like, I also oh, don't men agree. are not supposed to cry. <laughs> yes. I also don't agree with the whole... Why are, are Why are we telling men not to cry? Why are we telling men not to cry? I carry a whole 100 kg or 50 kg of things. <laughs> to do I don't want to be forced to do that simply because mm-hmm. I want to perpetrate this whole equality thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course, I want to be paid the same. Yeah. Where I'm due to be paid a certain salary at mm-hmm, work. I mm-hmm. want to be paid the same. Mm-hmm. If he's getting fifty dollars for his efforts, we have the same education, same qualifications. Mm-hmm. I should also get that same fifty dollars. But yeah. when it comes to, we can't be equal in all shapes and form. We we can be equal in some aspects, but we can't. But be not equal, in like, everything. In everything. Don't even think yeah. we confuse the men though. We confuse them. Yeah, oh, we yeah, actually confuse fifty them. in the house. You, we are partners. <laughs> you are the breadwinner. <laughs> we are part. We are partners. We are not. You are not the heads. We are now the same. We are now the same. <laughs> but then when it comes to certain issues, it needs to, right? You're the man. And the man. You're the man of the house. We are man. <laughs> we are man. Like society part of the blame. Like, mm-hmm. plays a part of it. Because society is told, has made it seem like men are the stronger gender, gender yeah. and females are the weaker ones. Weak. So when you try to be equal, it doesn't. Well, you're not looking for equality. You're just looking for, exactly. Like, the way you're I saying, pay, getting paid $50 each. If you're doing the same thing, I'm also doing the, the same, same thing. thing. But because he's a <coughs> man in society, he's going to pay. He's going to get paid a little bit, a little bit more. more than you. So I feel like if society starts to see it in a different way, mm-hmm. maybe then it can change. But for now, ha. But I think society. that um, <laughs> yeah, we are society. <laughs> but it's, it's, right now we're okay, but let's go out there. There are yeah. people that who are hard yeah. and, I think um, this whole gender equality thing. Okay, in terms of when we look at physically, yes, men are stronger. We can't deny that. Yeah, but right. when it comes to skill and ability, I mean, we can literally we can learn literally, the same yeah, skill. Yeah, you know, we yeah. can have the same ability. So recognize us in the same, same way, regards. not because physically he's stronger. So like in everything, we should just say that he's stronger. Is or gender whatever. equality and feminism the same thing? No, mm, it's not. No. But I think people think it is. Exactly. <laughs> But I feel like being a feminist, maybe the, your question is good because if you're pushing for gender equality, you want everything to be the same for yeah, both mm-hmm, genders. Yeah. But feminism, maybe you're just trying to raise awareness to the oh. fact that women can do the same mm-hmm, things the same that men thing. are doing. Mm-hmm. So we shouldn't limit them by saying, this is for men, this is for women. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I now have a problem with people like saying, right now there's so many rape cases in yeah. the yeah. rape culture in South Africa, mm-hmm, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people are talking about how, what was she wearing? Why was she wearing that? Why was she there? Why was she? Because it's the woman's fault. She must carry herself a certain way. But then my thing is, why can't you raise your child to remember that just because a woman is walking in the street doesn't mean mm-hmm. they're targeted. Yeah, but exactly. it's also not the fault of parents sometimes because they try their best. They can only do so much when their children walk out. Yeah. Sometimes it's just the peers. Mm-hmm. What are they pushing them? What are they what acknowledging are they and to? allowing their friends to do? Yeah. Because you can find that people are doing gangbangs now. Mm-hmm. People are doing... Like, it's just it's weird. <laughs> it's a weird world. And, it, and your friend will not even say anything because it's fine. So mm-hmm. what? So feminism is part of the culture of trying to change the misconceptions around mm-hmm. the way women dress, the way we are paid, or the way society or sees society. us as people when mm-hmm. it comes to our abilities and our skills. Mm-hmm. Okay. How would you redefine feminism? I would say that feminism should be more of really... Um, self-worth as a woman yeah sure. you're you're just you know discovering your your worth because i feel like because of how things were back then you know women were always looked down upon like it was like the woman is supposed to serve the man mm-hmm. you know so i think in trying to empower women to now know their value and their worth mm-hmm. that's where the whole misconception kind of came up but i i feel like feminism is more of self-value and self-worth and really just going after what she wants despite if it's a man's world but i mean if that's what she wants then go for it okay. so yeah i would say that's, that's what it is that's that's the thing i was about to like 
you know the way she's saying how you see a self worth and mm-hmm. etc. Yeah. When you start doing that, these are the times when people bring out the gender exactly, exactly like you're just like. <laughs> Yeah, I know when you're there, oh, you know, and you're trying to really yeah. put yourself in line, like trying to build Work yourself up yourself to, be a better, to be a better person, but uh-huh. then you know, society, <laughs> society, <laughs> they will make I'm you seem like you're just, you want to be equal to men, but yet you're just doing it for just you, doing it yeah. for, yeah, mm-hmm. for self growth. Yeah, and I have faced that, like for example, yeah. like even like in fuel cues, mm-hmm. you find that men find it so easy to make sure that they go in front or okay. they, 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 they cut the line mm-hmm. and they go in front of a chick. When I had a guy in front of me, you didn't feel like you could do the same to that guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you're trying to do it to me. And I speak up, Shonzi. I know Tauri. I know yeah so I, I i don't i don't know i don't know how best we can change all those ideas especially in the men and i have a problem with the with the brothers and the brothers that are being raised our brothers that are mm-hmm, being raised mm-hmm. right now yeah are our mothers doing as much as they can knowing that they have us as their daughters are they doing what they can to make sure that their sons are not going to react like how our older uncles and our older whatever yes. so are doing yeah I feel like it's, it's, they can try as much to help them grow in a certain way, but it's, it depends it's, with the person. Difficult. Like uh-huh. what they want, how they feel they need to portray themselves to society, or basically how they carry themselves amongst people and stuff. So how he wants to address you guys, I think it's up to the person. Yeah, mm-hmm. You can try as much as tell me, don't do this, don't rape, walk in that way, don't do that. But if he feels like he wants to do it, then what can you do, do about it? Don't you feel mm-hmm. that we confuse the men though? Because I feel like I, I, I'm honestly, She's been I, saying I that. Like, I feel it like for, for so long we want to be the men. We want to be our own men uh-huh. to a certain extent. Uh-huh. We want to do everything that the guy is doing. Uh-huh. Are we not in competition with ourselves more than we're in competition with, with the men? Them. Because half uh-huh. the time now, if you find that our parent, the the, the people that we are dating uh-huh. are not that much older than us uh-huh, you get what I'm uh-huh, saying? so they're yeah. raised the same uh-huh. being told that women can do this women can also do this women can do this i'm sure when we're looking at people that want to date we'll be like okay fine i need somebody who's going to be supportive yeah, yeah. but you find it. that there are people uh-huh. dating people <laughs> <laughs> but they are in competition with this person if he can do it i can do it uh-huh. like you're no longer giving the like we're not giving the men the position they need yeah, to be given position. in society uh-huh. because at times you're telling the men don't cry don't be and be emotional but then don't cry. don't cry be emotional but don't be don't soft don't be don't be don't, be, don't be weak yeah but at the same time if he's not gonna be weak with you who's gonna be weak with yeah that's yeah. True. his mom mm-hmm. if he goes back to his mom he's, weak. he's now a mama's boy <laughs> <laughs> if yeah, and we're the ones true. confusing them we don't tell them what mm-hmm. we want we we, we show them but okay. we're setting so the why pace not just say people should be humans just be, be themselves you, just be mm. human yeah if you feel like you're struggling Tell me you're struggling. So I know it. Because I think the other thing is, and I know maybe we're moving, we're veering off the whole feminism thing, but I think feminism touches on a lot of things and how society reacts to certain situations. Mm -hmm. So in that case, I feel like in a relationship, understand each other you yeah. know it's a partnership mm-hmm, your, mm-hmm. your partner should be able should be free enough to be comfortable mm-hmm. to show the emotions because if they're not going to show the emotions to you who side bay might just mm-hmm. come along <laughs> i mean uh, yeah, yeah i mean it, it, things mm-hmm. things like that are happening mm-hmm. because i think another problem that we have is when you're talking about uh, a, a man being the head of the family that's now part of our christianity coming in i don't know yeah. i think we're all yeah, christians definitely. yeah mm-hmm, it's part of mm-hmm. so how do we then combine christianity and mm-hmm. feminism because christianity is saying the man is the head of the family and the woman is the neck mm-hmm. husbands love your wives uh-huh. and women, be submissive. women be submissive yeah and now we're coming in with feminism and the whole submissive and, and then it's like <laughs> yeah what so what is next? what <laughs> but what if there's a situation whereby let's say we, we are dating right uh-huh. and when i met you your things were in order mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden your things are <laughs> Now, I change? And then, <laughs> how am I? You know, it, how do you I look at you. It, how do I serve? If I'm working, I'm going to be giving you money. So it's not like I'm I'm getting over you, but then I'm trying Situation to to forced. balance exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So is that being not submissive? Am I being a feminist? N- no, yeah. but then the am problem I? now comes in when you when he was okay and things were okay. You know, like okay, fine. In my household, my parents both have hustles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then you find that my dad still gives my mom an allowance, yeah. even mm-hmm. though my mom has her own money. Mm-hmm. Why can't my mother do the same for husbands? <laughs> Why 
Because it's a status so, thing. We yeah, know so that the men are supposed that, to that, provide for the woman. Because feminists, feminists will not like that. Some feminists will not like that ideology. Because they will still say the man should still provide for me. Yes, I'm making my own money. I'm making my own money. But you know, a feminist. But you have no problem. No, 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 no. But if you're not a feminist, you should be able to give your men money too. Because you're saying you can do the same thing. Feminism is, does not just apply to women. That's can. another thing. Feminism just does not apply to women, guys. It's, yeah, it's a term. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. cover women, women alone. alone. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. on, yeah. Both, yeah. Ends. It's uh-huh. on both ends. It doesn't. Gender equality is on both ends. Uh-huh. Feminism is on, on both, both ends. ends. Uh-huh. So let's not. The fact that my man is doing what he can and things go south doesn't mean now but we do it as women yeah, we start looking we at him different we tell yeah. him he's uh-huh. useless <laughs> get some <laughs> guys you have go it. look for something to do so is that now not a you problem useful. is that not now a you problem you uh-huh. are failing to adapt to the situation and acknowledge mm-hmm. that maybe this but is temporary maybe it's temporary oh you it took it from the uh, okay, ghetto I and brought you to town now I you don't want to go back to ghetto <laughs> you're telling him you're useless get it together because <laughs> you want to stay but up there yes. but i it. think what happens is problems. pride i think in that yes, situation it's, it's always pride. pride first of all the man has pride you know like if you were the one who was used to buying your your woman this and you know giving yeah, her an allowance and all that yeah. to now think of so she's not the one bringing, bringing the, the money, money and giving me money i think it just murders their pride like it, yeah, it does some it's yeah you ego. know their ego is just yeah Can and then also for the woman it's like I got the bucks. You know, I'm the one with the money. I'm the like, boss. I'm the boss. Hey, bitch. It's my paycheck. <laughs> that's, that's the reality of things. It's my Luna, paycheck. Man, so you can't tell me what to do with my money. You know, I think that. But if you just get to a point where you understand it, like what you were saying, that if you're, yeah, if you're in a relationship, you know, you know each other. So, you know, when things are not going well for your men, God, be supportive. So that <laughs> I think if you go, yeah, no, if you're not exactly. you know, you know, you know, so that you go out. Join our zeros together, we grow. We join our zeros together, we grow. We join our zeros together, we grow. We it's just it's nothing right. so that when you when you go to zero at least you both can exactly. okay but you were here before let's go <laughs> let's yeah. start we did it before we can do it again yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i don't know i don't know how best we can move from this it's difficult uh-huh. i think it's, it's very i think difficult. as an individual you uh-huh. need to reach a certain level uh-huh. where you are making the changes yourself uh-huh. and after you have fixed you uh-huh. you come in with your person and you fix each other and you fix it in your relationship before you know it, it's now a family thing. I feel like, because mm-hmm. it, it starts with one, it has to start from a point. And mm-hmm. that point is you. Uh-huh. So if it starts from you, it can go to a friend. But then it can go to your affect, partner. like, okay, fine. You know, there's so, like, we spoke about stakeholders once. Like, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You are two people in your relationship, but yeah. there's so many yeah. other people Ooh, that influence true. the relationship. But like I'm saying, so maybe you and your man can be on the same page when you're mm-hmm. speaking in your house. You're, t- you're to telling, he's telling you the rough truth about yeah. what's happening yeah. mm-hmm. and you understand what's happening. Mm-hmm. Then when he goes out there, maybe your brother mm-hmm. from wherever he comes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not taking care of my, my sister. sister. Or maybe your mom or maybe his mom was, is telling him something else. It true. messes with his head. Yeah, then it, he might now start acting different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As women are not being sensitive now. Because mm-hmm. yeah. in our heads, we feel like men are supposed to be getting these things right yeah. off uh-huh. the bat but they don't think like us yeah. we're naturals they're not yeah they're providers mm-hmm. so when they fail to provide they that, can't that we feel when what? they fail to provide they feel like the respect is gone mm-hmm. they are not to be respected yeah. as men we are naturals we want love uh-huh. they want respect yeah more than love exactly. itself yeah, yeah if they true. find a woman that can respect they want mm-hmm. security yeah and when we don't and have love. security it's a problem <laughs> so what yeah. to do Respecting someone hmm. without money. I don't know. Respecting someone without money. That's what you're saying. Like, hey, that's too it's much to ask for. <laughs> so how do you do that? Too? Is it money or vision? No. I don't. The thing is, vision with you action. Want, yeah. Yeah. What is that an animal? What is that a drink? What? Where? Potential to do what? Yes, potential. Everyone has it. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Everyone has it. So what what's our conclusion? What can we say is our conclusion? I would say that. Educate each other, guys. Mm-hmm. Know yourself. I mean, it, it all starts with yourself and how you perceive all these things. Because people are going to come and tell you what they tell you. But, you know, if you're grounded and rooted in what, yeah, you, what believe, you believe, you know, and in knowing who you are, 
people will say whatever they say but it won't shake you it, it won't, won't move you. you yeah so that does that not apply to the relationship hey yes you both of you should not be shook no matter what people will come in and say mm-hmm. they'll try to do but we will mm-hmm. be exactly <laughs> That's not like That's not a you problem then. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, problem. It's, a, it's a problem. I mean, you, Generally. You. you. <laughs> what do you do? You. you, you no, problem. but then realistically, but, these are the problems we are going to exactly. face. Yeah. Mm. True. I feel like, why are we not doing therapy sessions, counseling sessions? As a couple, like, that, that, that's now a conversation I feel we can have for another day because <laughs> therapy in the black and African society is a whole new topic. I think we'll have to discuss that mm-hmm. in another way. But I feel, from what I've seen, we've talked about, mm-hmm. I feel the best way, like I said before, the best way, and what Michelle, you're elaborating on, the best mm-hmm. way is to start with, with yourself. yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah change the attitude that you have already uh-huh. so you're saying yeah it's difficult to respect someone it with is. money that it is difficult it but then if you is. if you're in a relationship with someone you've committed yeah through sickness through health through financial crises through you, everything through you are married, but we can't say, yes, <laughs> through you know, economy you know, when things are <laughs> now established because we can't be facing all these troubles for someone we're not going to be together for <laughs> with the, yeah uh, so yeah. when you're coming okay so basically when you're coming and we're still courting and dating and you come correct my guy yes. don't be giving me potential because i can't yes. i can't i can't I know know potential, potential. potential. Correct. at have the same correct. time vision with action is the best maybe yeah. you don't have True. the coins exactly. you don't have it but at least you're going it's somewhere yeah. Yeah. Have to but then now that we going back to feminism mm-hmm. Kuti, is it is it something that we should keep endorsing as it is or as a person you need to define it for yourself i think as a person define you need to yourself. define it for yourself which is why mm-hmm. i'm saying you need to start with yourself, yourself. Uh-huh. how do you define it how do you want your kids to know about it how do you want your mom to take it your your dad to take it your brother your sister to mm-hmm. take it you need to define it for yourself and then if everyone else agrees with that definition then obviously it can catch on mm-hmm. but i'm saying i feel like there are flaws around the concept of feminism mm-hmm. and we need to address those flaws because mm-hmm. there's christianity coming into play different religions coming into play mm-hmm. it's then hard to put because now feminism is seen as a it's seen as a worldly thing mm-hmm. yeah. it's seen as if it's a worldly thing and so christians will look at it like that's something for people who are sinners some uh-huh. people of the world. Oh yeah, people in the world. Yes, uh-huh. of which I don't think so. Mm-hmm. As a Christian, I don't think it's something for people of the world. I feel like there's, I there should be a way we can incorporate everything to make a definition that I can live by myself. Mm-hmm. Sure. I, I okay, so now okay, we're supposed to be rounding up. But my yeah. question is, we're talking about relationships in the, yeah. but let's say in a work space, uh-huh. and you've got promotions that you know is gonna go to John. Mark, <laughs> Luke, like you already know. You already know. know. And you're like, as much? What's up? <laughs> I feel like maybe there are people that are career driven. They want to be in a certain field and that's it. And they feel like they want to grow yeah. within. I feel like if you want to run the show on your own shit so that no one can tell you how yeah. to do it. But in a company where a now company. people. You speak up to who? Speak up. No, speak up. Who? Listen. Who? Okay. For me. In the Western okay. world, yeah, in Africa, this is Zimbabwe. If you look at. Sorry, guys. Exactly. Not you to speak... be political. Government, you know, we can't Yeah. That are running. Yeah. Stuff. I get you. So if it's starting from the top and our mothers themselves are still going Through and they're suffering spaces. for the. Uh, yeah. how, how, so like we I have say, nothing like I said right before, now. Mm-hmm. It's now about how our brothers were also raised. How we are going to raise our sons. Mm -hmm. Because then if we don't break the cycle, the system is just going to go on and on on and and on on like Uh that. Mm -hmm. We can't do anything about our sekurus and our old uncles in government institutions. But at this rate, are we even growing in the the workspace? Are we going to be career-driven people in terms of, if you're not an entrepreneur, then you're probably in a certain field that you're focused on. Are you going to grow? Who are you going to teach to respect women? Say these boys that are older than us that have these positions. Mm -hmm. Nepotism. They will probably come in after you and get the promotion before you. Mm -hmm. Because they got the promotion before you, they already endorsed taking whatever they were taught Mm -hmm. by the people that gave them the promotion and continuing with it. it. So Uh as much as we want to raise them, 
at home they're being told respect women it's not that they don't respect you they mm-hmm. also just got into the system as the messed up as it yeah. is yeah. so it's not gonna so, shift so that's not a system thing guys uh-huh. we can't change it one day i uh-huh. feel like that's not right. a system the whole nepotism thing it's now a system thing we're living in a system unfortunately we were born in it uh-huh. we're going to grow up in it mm-hmm. but it is up to us to make sure we that we do something somewhere. to start changing it mm-hmm. so that our children are also not crippled by the same by the same system, system. It has to start somewhere. It has to start somewhere. Yeah. We can't keep on complaining and complaining <laughs> and complaining. It has to start somewhere. And the uh-huh. fact that we, we actually speak discuss and complain it. Yes. For life. Yeah. But the fact that, <laughs> oh, you always complain. <laughs> the fact that we're discussing. And we go it. much. And much. <laughs> and much. <laughs> Yes. And you go much. Hey. The fact that we're discussing it, I feel like it's a step forward. The uh-huh. fact that we have these talks mm-hmm. and people are not just mm-hmm. keeping their thoughts in their heads, we're mm-hmm. actually voicing them out. Our mothers couldn't do this. Yeah. They so couldn't. the fact that we're doing this, I mm-hmm. feel like it's a, it's a step it's forward. Someone. Yeah. And it's better than nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, one more thing. Yeah. Now we need to add some action, some follow through action to yeah. all these talks. All these because days. you know, I feel like people debate about these kind of things a lot. Oh, no. They talk about these yeah. things a lot. But yeah, like okay, we've we've been debating and talking about all these things, but uh, yeah, we realize this is a change. change. Can I How about? Can I tell you why? I'm I'm in a corporate world. Yeah. I talk. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're gonna fire me. <laughs> I just make sure I talk with respect. Yeah. I uh-huh. voice my opinions in such a way that I'm not going to assault. I'm not going to assault or make you feel like I'm being rude. Mm-hmm. But I will still voice what I feel should be done. Mm-hmm. And I've had people come to me and say, for your age, mm-hmm. keep on doing what you're doing. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. my, my advice mm-hmm. is, like I said, yes, John, Luke, Mark, James, they're there, <laughs> they're getting their promotions to, through nepotism. But if you're going to leave and you didn't say nothing about it, uh-huh. the same person and Amanda is going to follow through. And if you leave that job, and Amanda is going to replace you. And that Amanda is going to go through the same thing. Yeah, and she's yeah. also going to leave and she's not going to say anything about it. And it will just keep going It will like just that. keep on going. People, mm-hmm. People need to speak up. out. Mm-hmm. We are afraid. We've been raised to be afraid to speak up. But I think people just need to speak up. No, but doesn't say, but I know But you know, we can be raised in a, in a family. We are raised, maybe you're lucky enough to be raised in a family where they speak up tell you to speak up yeah. mm-hmm. but then the people that actually don't have these things don't we think as women mm-hmm. we should put it upon ourselves to find the younger ones we are we are we are not old mm-hmm. but then we have yeah. people that are, like that are under yeah, that, yeah, guys yeah, i yeah. hope you continue watching our videos <laughs> because i talk too much i advise you and i appeal to you to speak <laughs> to also speak talk mind, too much but speak speak your mind but speak it in a respectful mm-hmm. manner definitely do not be rude about it so i think I think we've talked about a lot, guys. Yeah, yeah. We have. I think we've talked. We have. I enjoy talking. We could go on and on and on and on. But unfortunately, we need another video. Mm-hmm. And so I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, one or two of the ladies will join us in the next video. Yeah. But until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you, guys. Please subscribe, Jesus. comment, share, <laughs> like. Follow the ladies on Instagram. Please say your Instagram hey, handle. I don't even oh, know. Safe. It's later, Leo. Yes, later, Leo. Mm-hmm. Grace Michelle. It will be in the distri- description. <laughs> But I'll put all the Instagram handles in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. I'm tired. I'm tired.